Hi everyone, it's Ipsy Glam Bag time for the month of January. It's called Happy Vibes. It's January 20th, almost the end of the month. I just got this one today. I've got my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus behind me for January, but we'll get into that one later. But anyway, bag is so, so cute. And it came in a bag like this. So, you know, I must have some add-ons. So I hope that you stick around and join me because we all know Hashtag Nancy has no idea what to do with all the goodies in here. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to have you guys stop in and visit and spend a few minutes of your day with me. It means more to me than I can let you know. As you can see, I found my third box of the Book of the Month Club that I had, I knew I hadn't opened yet. So I've got three boxes back there to open. I got another Miss Ellie that shipped. And yesterday I got my Yoga Club for the month of January. It is so cute, but I've still got like three other outfits I haven't even opened to show you guys. You know, it's okay to put on like warm, fluffy, cozy pajamas and things like that. And it's just so cold and it's, you know, they just feel so good. And, uh, but trying to think about putting something tight and confining on, even though I know once it's on, it's going to feel comfortable because I love them. But I, yeah, I just can't do it right now. Yeah. Hopefully in the next few weeks, I will kind of feel more into squeezing and squishing myself into those things so I can show it to you and yeah so I've got all that stuff behind me still I got the glossy box that came in today I got my ipsy glam bag regular that came in it had some add-ons in it so I'm really excited to show those with you because I'll well, share them with you because I love them and I don't know what to do with them and I'm having fun trying but I'm not doing such a great job but yeah so thanks so much for stopping and I appreciate you guys so much um, I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Um, your comments, of course, are very helpful, very needed. But anyway, and fine example of this, I'm trying to wear that eyeshadow palette again that I won from Laurie Latimer, Sister Fantastic. I love this one. And it's by Complex Culture. And it's got three different looks that you can put it in. I did the middle look again today that I did last weekend that I did with my wine diaries and I tried to put it on even darker than I did before so I mean this is a palette is absolutely gorgeous and again it gives you a look for like casual workwear and then like what is it br brunch I guess I used the one for brunch today and then this one is the nighttime one so I tried to go on a little bit darker than usual I even used uh, the shades like underneath for like kind of like an eyeliner underneath but I'm still working on it but yeah, so I hope that you check out Laurie Latimer because I, she is just such a nice, sweet lady and she's so generous and she's just so knowledgeable when it comes to skincare and anything like that. She does some lives and things that I never seem to be able to get around to watching. But anyway, I won this from her. I love it. I'm still trying to get the perfect eye look. But I mean, to me, I mean, it looks natural. I don't always do something flamboyant with my eyes because I don't know how. So to me, it gave, it gives a lot of natural kind of look just a little bit of accentuating but i really would like to know how to tweak it and make it look glamorous yeah that would be nice but today yeah and it's a cold one we're going we've got wind chill warnings again tonight and then we're going to be back down around 30 40 degrees below zero it's coffee time so i made a cup of coffee just to have with you guys and it's my smart sips coffee i know i haven't done an unboxing of them in a while because i'm so backed up on my coffees this one is the blueberry cinnamon latte i put a little bit of whipped cream in here i've got my cup here that bb sent me so i love this nutcracker mug got a little nutcracker right here too gonna have a sip it is so good you wouldn't think that blueberry cinnamon latte would be good Oh my gosh, it's ever good. Cheers, everyone. Alrighty. And so you notice I'm not doing any really kind of like bling with my um, jewelry either. So I just put on these simple pearls today that I, I love these. I hardly ever wear them though. I don't know why. And then just uh, on a little gold uh, string here type thing. And just a little pearl. Just gives a little bit. And you know, when I was watching Eileen from Eileen's lookbook, and I hope that you check her out. You know, I'm going to link Laurie below, and I'll link um, Eileen below as well. She just did a 
gorgeous video on pearls and um yeah so i hope you check her out it just kind of got me going and saying gee i miss wearing my pearls and they're dainty they're classic they're timeless i mean you can wear them dressed up dressed down but anyway she did a fantastic job showing you those kind of the stories of pearls and the different types of pearls and her videos um she does so much research and um so again she had like catherine duchess of of cambridge posing next to a picture of the girl with the pearl earrings and it just she just does such a remarkable job whether she's talking about pearls or like gemstones like jade and quartz she goes into so much depth on the history of the stones and when she does fashion and she'll show you like the the runway fashions that are trending right now but then you know those looks aren't for like everyday people right they're like for people going to the med or you know fashion awards or the oscars or something but you know she'll put that into like her everyday looks and to get the trends and the colors and it's just just so good or she'll take um like an actress like um audrey hepburn which really got me going on audrey hepburn because of course you know i did grow up under a rock i knew the name all this time but i had never watched any of her films and after eileen did a segment on um, audrey hepburn i got a couple of her movies and just kind of fell in love with her so i hope that you check eileen out as well but now that we got all that out of the way because i do have, have a tendency to chit chat let's get into the ipsy so again so this bag um i think it used to be 12 dollars. it went up to 13 dollars and then I signed on to get it for the year, so I got it for $11. So this bag, it's kind of like an ombre type, a little rainbow effect bag. You can see different colors that are in it when it gets away from the light. It's a smooth kind of vinyl. Just soft inside. Just a little Ipsy logo right there. So again, this was $11. I got five items. I did get to choose one of my items. And I really don't know how they go around and have people pick the items because it's all different i don't know but anyway this month the card is a little bit different so they do give you a card happy vibes and that little qr code that you can click on over here with your camera to show a little bit more the back is just kind of like advertising for the um the glam bag x which i am not getting anymore and then but inside this is kind of be more helpful for me usually on the uh, glam bag regular it shows you the items that are in your bag and a little bit of how to use them but this one just kind of shows you the different ingredients and what you do with it so to me this is probably more helpful and i did go online to just kind of pick things out to show you what i got this was actually the one that i picked um, from the choices that they gave me and it's the uh, tasha it's a deep cleanse exfoliating cleanser this is 20 milliliters they say this is a deluxe sample so you just use it just like you would a uh, normal exfoliating cleanser so i'm excited to be using that we got a highlighter which i don't exactly know how to use but this one looks kind of like a nice it looks like a peachy kind of shade and it's by ivy again it's kind of looks like kind of like a little peachy kind of look so it's um it's a, again it's a delict sample it's the maldives highlighter and it says it's infused with rosehip seed oil and vitamin e so it does have looks like it has some healthy ingredients in it it's in a little compact came in that cute little box it's got some nice colors on it and then we got this cutest little thing of the tart shape tape i have tried this like two or three times from people i know people some people say this is like the holy holy grail of the under eye concealer and yeah for me it just it didn't work but this is all that they sent and like i said i know some people love this i've never had luck with it whether i put it on with my fingers or a beauty blender mixing it with water mixing it with moisturizer mixing it with foundation it just caked 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 on me i'd smile and it would just all the creases under my eyes would just show so but i know some people love this so this will definitely be going in a future giveaway all righty so we got this uh brush i think they said this is a blending brush and it's by elena badger i'm trying to get it out without touching the bristles so this is a value of 24 dollars, and of course i paid 11 so aside from the deluxe size samples 
I got a $24 brush. So I've said this is a blending brush, so someplace in here I would try to blend things. I think that's what I do with it. Alrighty, and then the last item that I got for my blend bag regular were these two masks. I love getting sheet masks. So these are by Siam or Same. It's a hydro one's a hydrating hyaluronic acid mask and the other one is a biosolution radiance multivitamin mask so anyway two sheet masks i'm going to love using these i love using sheet masks my skin just feels so much hydrated and one of the meds that they put put me off my heart is just oh my god it is drying my skin out so bad i cannot drink enough water during the day it's like you know, I, I go like this and it's like, oh my God, my skin's got dandruff and my lips are just so chapped and I'm putting oils and everything on. But that's one of the side effects from um, one of the meds. So I'm hoping my body can adjust to that soon because my lips are killing me. Yeah, I had some um, low sodium vegetable soup for lunch today and I could not wait to finish it. I, I well, I, I couldn't even finish it. It was burning my lips, just the, the vegetable spice or whatever. Alrighty, but that's not why you're here. So let's get on to the add-ons. So the first add-on that I got, and it's a palette that I got that I have no idea what to do with. It's still sitting in my box over here because I'm afraid to open it and use it. It's by Ofra, and it's like a bronzer and a highlighting palette, and the value is $149. And it's so, so pretty. I know someone deserves it, but it's so pretty that I want to try to use it, but I don't know how. But when I saw it in the add-ons for $15, I said, I have to get it. I have to do a giveaway for this in it. So again, it's this Oprah palette. On the glow palette. And it's got a mirror in here. So let me lock this. And I know that somebody needs this. Somebody needs to play with this. Somebody needs to make a look with it. So this is going to be in one of my giveaways. I bought it specifically to use in a giveaway. And um, I'm thinking, because I'm going to be you see that uh, wine and kisses back there, you know, I'm going to do the, a little vlog com countdown for Valentine's Day. So this is going to be in the giveaway for that. And I'm, yeah, I'll announce it the first day that I, I do that vlog type thing. But this is going to be in there because it's so pretty. I don't know what to do with it, but somebody knows what to do with it. So then the next item that I got, and I lost it. Well, I'll find it later. But I got this rose quartz hair mask. And this is a deluxe sample. So this was probably, I spent on the, all the add-ons that I got, I spent $54.03. So I got that for $15. This I'm assuming was probably $3, right? But excited to use this. I love the smell of rose. It says that you, after you wash your hair, you put this in, you let it sit for like five minutes. I'll probably leave it in for 20. I'll probably wash my hair, put this in it, have a bubble bath, and then rinse it out later. Yeah, I love bubble baths. Alrighty. So then next, I got this Cosmic Glitz eyeshadow palette. It's like this holographic type thing. That pretty. So wait till you see the inside of this. I need something to block. Don't know if I'll have the nerve to use this, but it looks really, really, really fun. Looks pretty. Even if it's something I do on a Friday night with a wine diary, right? You can see those sparkle shades, and as you go like this, you the colors just kind of change. All righty. So this, this has a value of $25, but of course I didn't spend $25. Alrighty, so next, I got this Wish Fill. It's a Honey Bomb Moisturizer. It's in a pretty kind of like a purpley glass container right here. This has a value of $43. It says this moisturizer has a unique jelly bomb texture that helps lock in moisture. Got that saver right here don't smell anything 
It's got a nice consistency, it looks like. So it says it has a unique jelly bean, jelly bomb, jelly beans, that would be a good tap right now. Texture that helps lock in moisture with honey. It brightens dark spots with turmeric. And it minimizes pore sizes and even skin texture with ni niacinamide. Alrighty, I'm going in. It's kind of got a, like a luminous going the wrong way. It's a little luminous, right? It does kind of have a scent when I rub it here. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe that's what the turmeric is and honey together. But it feels really, really nice. So I'm going to enjoy using that. And no, oh yeah, my last item, which looks kind of scary. It looked really nice in the picture. It's by Laura Gella, and it says Prep and Go. It says it's a lip scrub and a tint duo. And in the picture, it looked really like a nice, creamy, pastel shade of pink, but in person, I don't know. Plus, I really didn't think about it when it said exfoliating. So on the bottom of it, it's like this gloss, but... And I, I didn't try it because it sounds kind of scary and my lips are killing me. But that's the applicator, but it says it's exfoliating. So, yeah, I don't know. I suppose I could always just put my own applicator in, right? And then this looked really nice and creamy in the picture, but it just kind of looks like a wax bomb, which is probably what I need now anyway. Oh, well, here in the monitor it looks nice, but in person it's shiny and it's like see-through and wax. But anyway, this had a value of $24. So not counting the sample size of the rose quartz, um, the add-ons that I got between the, o the Ofra, the highlighting bronzer palette, this moisturizer, the cosmic um, eyeshadow palette, this, there were five things, yeah. Yeah, so those five things was $241 was the value, and I paid $54.03, and that included tax and shipping. So I'm happy about that, even though this is kind of scaring me. And then $11 for the other items for my Glam Bag Plus. So I am excited to try some new things. Looking forward to your comments on how to use these things properly. And I think the order is what kind of scares me. And any tips on doing my eyes so I look glamorous and just not blah. I mean, I'm okay looking blah because, you know, I've been blah my whole life, you know. Mid-60s, I've been blah my whole life, but every now and then you just kind of want to look glamorous. So any helpful hints would be really nice. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me. As you can see, I have got tons of things to unbox. I'm going to be doing some of them when I do the uh, Valentine's Day countdown. And we're going to have a give giveaway during that, just like we did for the uh, Christmas and the New Year's countdown. So looking forward to seeing you guys some more. I've got anybody around. I hope nobody's around. I'm here alone. But I've got a new subscription coming in tomorrow. And... I've thought about it, but then I didn't want to because I had, you know, I've got like the, the vinyl that I want to hashtag I broke PR for that I'm, I know I'm not going to get it. And then I got the Sweet Wine Club, but I'm kind of on the fence. Um, you know, I've got that one coming in March, but uh, I'm kind of on the fence because maybe those wines weren't really for me. They weren't just, I don't know. They're just, I don't know. So we're going to see how that goes on in March. But I wanted to experiment more with different wines from all over just not like local wineries and things like that but so i signed up to get that wink club so i got four bottles coming tomorrow they're in maple grove so i know it's you know unless something wicked bad happens tonight with the weather or whatever or it just gets kind of lost in the shuffle it should be here tomorrow so i may be doing another wine diary tomorrow or maybe over the weekend we'll see how that goes but i'm really excited to be sharing that with you guys as well so i hope that you stick around join me for that and it's friday eve so i hope everyone is ready to have a great weekend i hope you are warm and cozy wherever you are whether you're in the sub-zero weather like i am and you're just inside maybe you're lucky enough to get a wood stove going and uh, cuddling around with cozy blankets and hot chocolate or some blueberry cinnamon latte so yeah thanks so much for joining me everyone i appreciate you guys more than you know and yeah so we will talk again soon love you guys bye bye